Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Berry FC versus Bradford City match vlog if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 150 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts on today Today's game is obviously our first pre-season match of the 2023-24 campaign. The last Bradford City match they attended was that playoff semi-final, second leg defeat against Carlisle United. We couldn't quite get over the line last season, we have to get over the line this season. If we're not playing League One football this time next year, something seriously wrong will have happened. There's a lot of competition in League Two. Last season seemed like a really good opportunity, we failed to do so and today is hopefully the start of our promotion journey back into League One. Hopefully we get to see two teams of 45 minutes as well today. It's obviously our first pre-season game. Normally we start on the 1st of July against Park Avenue. That game's not until the 19th. We're starting though with Berry. Obviously their first game back at Giggling, so it's brilliant news for their club. I think both sides have sold out. I know we've definitely sold out our 1,100 allocation, but make sure to drop a like on there for me. Subscribe if you are new as well. I shall see you all at Giggling. Here we have it then, here's how we line up for today's game away at Bury. For the first half anyway, I do believe it will be two teams for each half. It looks to me like a 3-5-2, it looks like Harry Lewis in goal, a back three of Ash Taylor, Matty Platt and Kieran Kelly with Luke Hendry and Liam Rydaug as the wing backs. In the midfield you've got Smallwood, Osadibe and Patterson with Andy Cook and Tyler Smith up front. Interesting to see Luke Hendry get the start over Halliday or a Yagoke, maybe there's an injury there or something but yeah, certainly looks like a 3-5-2 to me which is how we look like we have been building towards this season. Let's get into kickoff. And 
Are you got case stubs and Odyssey as the back three? Halliday and Adore as the wing backs. With East as the holding midfielder, Walker and Gilead as rates, and then Yumbe and Matt Derbyshire up front. Great ball from Jamie Walker, and a good composed finish from Derbyshire. And it doesn't like Point we're going to be involved today, but he was now subbing Yumbi off after only 25 minutes. Six-nil win 
Brilliant way to start pre-season. And there we have it then, a great result to start pre-season with. Hopefully we raised a lot of money as well for Bury. I wish them all the best for their upcoming campaign. As expected, it was pretty comfortable, pretty one-sided. That first half an hour in that first half, we played some absolutely outstanding football, some real promising football on display, and we looked really good. We played five at the back, obviously you three centre-backs and you two wing-backs, and we played like Smallwood in the first half and East in the second half as you hold the midfielder with two number eights and then two strikers as well. And I thought overall it worked pretty well. You know, obviously it's the first game, but we showed early signs of some good things. Alex Patterson looks like an absolutely unbelievable player. I was surprised to see Hendry and Rydaug both start as the wing backs in the first half. Obviously, we tried to balance the squad as much as possible. Interesting to see no McDonald, Oliver, or Jake Young involved in the match day squads. I thought Bobby Poynton as well impressed when he came on. I don't know if it was planned for Dylan Youngby to come off at that time or what, maybe picked up an injury, but it certainly didn't look like Poynton was planned to be involved in the squad, so I'm not really too sure what went on there, but we had a bit of a change in formation. Walker looked pretty good. Andy Cook looked absolutely unreal. That goal is absolutely outstanding, but promising signs. Now we've got our pre-season training camp over in Spain and obviously we play Getafe next Friday. I won't be at that game, obviously, but we should be back for the Bradford Park Avenue vlog, which is on Wednesday the 19th, I want to say. So I'm looking forward to the season, some real promising signs, and I'm really excited for the season upcoming. I'm going to leave it there, though, for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could join it, 150 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification, bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below to help boost the video in the youtube algorithm let me know your thoughts on today's game obviously we start with a 6-0 win in pre-season doesn't really get much better than that thank you all very much for watching today's video have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all very soon for another one peace